the Russia-Ukraine conflict just gives us another opportunity to not react to what is a still going to be most likely a short-term event in comparison to one's lifetime. So what do we need to do? This is Tyson Ray, financial advisor at Form Wealth Advisors, where we exist to help make life better for our clients and those in our community. As the markets are starting to look past the conflict that is going on in Ukraine, the markets rallied as March came to a close coming off of the lows that, uh, that was set in February. And in fact, we tried to test those lows a couple times in March and have moved forward uh, as March came to a close. As we can look past the headlines and all the news about what's going on in Ukraine, one very significant event happened in March that maybe most people missed. And that's the fact that the Federal Reserve raised interest rates. And they raised interest rates in part because of inflation, but they raised interest rates in part because the United States economy is doing very well. We're having a comeback. We're watching news about Ukraine and notice that we're not so worried about COVID. And though gas is at all time high and prices uh, for almost everything are seeming higher, a lot of us are standing in line to consume these products that cost more money because we have the money to consume them. And the Fed doesn't raise interest rates if they think things are going to be bad or get worse. And in fact, in the last few months, they went from maybe raising rates once or twice to now talking about raising them maybe five or six times this year, which reiterates what I've been saying for a while is things are much better than we realize. And so though there's a lot of reasons to be concerned and cause us to have what if conversations about nuclear war, which there's really no way to plan for that because if it happens, it happens. And yet we have a historical example of what it was to drop nuclear bombs uh, coming out of World War II, which only lasted four years, mind you, which in a lifetime is a, is a short-term event and not something really to plan against or for. You have to look past these things because your greatest risk as an investor is the fact that you're likely to live two, three, or four decades in retirement and have an investment strategy designed to beat inflation and to beat the cost of living that happens when you can live 20 or 30 years without any income. And historically speaking, which is the only guide we have, an equity diversified portfolio is one of the ways you can try and beat that inflation and yet not react to these short-term things that you can be scared about. And what I can tell you that most people didn't pay attention to as March is that somewhere in here is a bottom of this market cycle. We've just gone through what historically is just a normal correction for a lot of different reasons, one of which, and not the only, is this little conflict that's happening in Ukraine. But the Fed raising interest rates tells me that the underlying economy of the United States of America is doing really well. If anything, it's starting to burn really hot and it's probably gonna get better. And so I wanna offer that perspective for this month's up or down. Until next time. The purpose of these up or down videos is to try and bring a little understanding about what you should be doing with your long-term investments based on what is going on. And so this is Tyson Ray, financial advisor at Form Wealth Advisors, where we exist to help make life better for our clients and those in our community.